Hello. Hello, how's it going? I hope that wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever part of the future you're living in, I hope that right now this video, this moment, finds you open to the possibility of every single day, every moment on an ongoing basis, more and more embracing who you are, expressing who you are, and speaking in order to make the world a better place, because I believe that that is your nature. I want to invite you to embrace the idea that you are a gifted speaker, as you actually are. And what that means is I want to invite you to embrace the idea that with your face, your voice, your vocabulary, your education, uh, with your doubts and, and terrors and struggles and your stammers or slurs or tendencies to ramble a bit or whatever it might be, that you are a gifted speaker. What does that mean? It means that no matter where you are at right now, no matter how you have spoken before, no matter how it feels to speak on a regular basis, you have gifts to offer the world. And if you just stop trying so hard, if you stop trying to be someone other than who you actually are in every moment when you are speaking, if you stop trying to live up to that kind of imitation idea of a superior, successful, advert, sexy TV version of yourself or role model version of yourself that the people that you watch on TED Talks or on stages or whatever look like to you, if you stop trying to be the person that you think you have to be in order for the imaginary audience that you have in your head to love you in the way that they think you think they need you to be in order for them to approve of and validate you and your existence. If you just stop trying, in other words, to be anything other than who you actually are in any given moment, you would find that you have a capacity to speak so beautifully, so clearly, with such grace that you could light up any conversation, any meeting, any room full of people, as you are. And you might be listening to this and going, Okay, I can, I can kind of see that that might be true in general for human beings, but just, but just not me. There's something wrong with me specifically that means that I could never do that. I, I have this flaw that nobody else has. Or you might be thinking, I can kind of imagine that that might be possible for me, but, you know, like way in the future when I've done loads of training or loads of practice or when I've released all of my blocks, when I've transcended every fear and removed every flaw or... Or you might just be thinking, I can embrace that possibility, but I just have no idea how to get there. And what I want to say to you is that if you want to really develop your capacity to be an amazing speaker or performer for any purpose in life, yes, a lot of conscious practice, conscious preparation and even more importantly, consciously embracing opportunities to actually do it over and over again and notice the experience and notice what works and notice what doesn't and constantly adjust and measure and assess and reform everything that you're doing in response to the actual human beings you're talking to and the way that it feels and the way that those words flow. In other words, constantly actually opening up stepping up, speaking up, and then noticing how that goes and constantly changing the way that that works, just like you would if you want to have amazing sex or dancing with someone or do anything to the best of your ability, that's really important. Training and practice make a huge difference if you want to develop and be able to tap into your best all the time. But only if you're coming from the perspective of embracing and expressing who you actually are and not trying to be someone else, some imitation of yourself, and not constantly fighting or fleeing from or freezing from the actual gifts you have to give, the actual truth you have to express. I can say this with total confidence because I've worked with over a thousand people and I have seen every kind of person from every walk of life with every kind of problem or flaw become magnificent when they come home to the power of who they actually are and just express that 
one of my favorite things to do in my classes is to get people to riotously celebrate everything they think is crap about themselves. So I get them to talk about their neediness, their hypocrisy, their attention seekingness, their, their judgmental, nasty, angry, terrified shadows of whatever it is they try to deny or even there every time that they try to step up on speak. In other words, the stuff that paralyzes us or makes us fake, and which I have too, I do this with them. I get them to celebrate all of that stuff as though it is the most beautiful, magnificent qualities that anyone has ever demonstrated in front of other human beings. We turn it into a parade. I call it the monster's parade. And when people start talking about that stuff with zest and juice and not holding anything back, do you know what? They're fucking amazing. They're, they're beautiful. In the very moment of owning and expressing all of the things we use to shame ourselves and hold ourselves back and play small, we become magnificent, we become kings, queens, queers, rulers of our own heartbeats. And people love it. People respond to it with absolute trust in us, warmth and openness towards us when we stop pretending and just actually give rip to what we actually are in the moment. Now, that doesn't mean you have to talk about that stuff on stage if you're teaching a class, giving a speech, whatever it is. You don't have to actually tell people your secrets, your doubts, or your fears. It just means when you actually stop pretending to yourself and acknowledge all that stuff that is there and just fully express who you are with your face and your voice and you let yourself be real in the moment, there is no reason for people to ever not trust you, not love you, and not validate you. The only definition that I can come up with for bad speaking is speaking that's trying to be something other than what it actually is. One of the most beautiful things I ever saw anyone say was he stepped up in front of a, a room full of about 30 people and they'd all been saying all of this, you know, like very meaningful, spiritual, inspirational kind of sentences. And he stood up and he said, I wish I could think of something beautiful to say. To me, that was the most beautiful thing that anyone said all night. Instead of pressurizing himself to come up with something that he didn't really mean in that moment, instead of choosing not to speak at all, he said what was actually there. And it was incredible. I don't think I'm ever going to forget that one. The power that we have when we embrace who we actually are in the moment is astonishing. We can connect to and inspire any room full of people, any individual. We can allow ourselves to be magnificent. And when we can embrace the things that we think are terrible about us and let them be there, we can also embrace our power and our beauty and our truth. You can't embrace one without the other because we break ourselves into pieces when we don't let it all be there. So you don't need to wait for some kind of a special role in order to let yourself really embrace and express the fullness of who you are and speak to make the world a better place. A couple of weeks ago, I met this couple outside of a, a spoken word gig that I was performing at, and, and the guy said, do you know, like when I was younger, we had this new priest in my town and he made everyone turn around to each other and, and, and tell them that they were beautiful. And while the guy was telling this story, his face lit up and his voice lit up and he started to move his body more. And he said, do you know what, like that priest... I don't want to be a priest. I have no interest in being a priest. But if I was going to be a priest, I would be like that guy. I would be that guy who turns to people, gets everyone to tell everyone else that they're beautiful and just lights up the room and gets people really connected, you know? And I would, I would love to be able to have a role where I could do that. And I looked at the guy and I looked around at his girlfriend and myself and the three of us were completely lit up by what he was saying. And I said to him, you're doing it right now. You're doing it right now, standing out on this street. You can do it right now, as you are. You may be that kind of person who feels like you're so passionate about the things that you want to say, that you want to train and train and get bigger and bigger audiences. 
those things are wonderful and you can definitely do those if you're called to. But who you are right now is the gift that you have to give to the world. And that's always going to be true. Even five years, ten years down the line, if you practiced and prepped and had experience after experience of actually speaking, in any given moment when you stand in front of a crowd, who you actually are in that moment is still always going to be the gift that you have to give. It's always going to be true. That's all I'm going to say for now, guys. I'm going to make more videos about practical skills and stepping into that power in the coming days and weeks. I really encourage you to embrace who you are, express who you are, and speak with the purpose of making the world a better place, whether it's one conversation, an audience of a thousand, anything at all. And remember this, we have about 80,000 thoughts a day. So if you want to speak to make the world a better place, start with yourself. Start with the way that you speak to yourself. Give yourself that love, that inspiration, that kindness that you want to extend to everyone else. If you found this video valuable, then please feel free to share it on Facebook, to tweet it, feel free to stick it on the back of a unicorn's ass and send it riding out through the universe so that alien civilizations might enjoy it too. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to. Uh, give it a like, that would be fantastic. Give me comments, tell me what you want me to do next. And finally, you can head over to my website, speakingrocks.life, for some beautiful free giveaways and to get in touch with me more if you want to. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day. Open up, speak up. Fuck it. Thank you.